how do you explain to a one, three, and a five-year-old that they'll never see their mom again? This is the story of Lakeisha Raquel Lewis, age 23, a mother of three who was shot in the head alongside her new boyfriend, John L. Francis, age 24, by her old boyfriend and father of her three kids, Daryl Mitchell, age 28. Daryl found out online that Lakeisha was home alone with her new boyfriend, he drove to her apartment then knocked on the door. He immediately shot John L. Lakeisha's new boyfriend who answered the door. He then searched for Lakeisha who he found hiding in the bathroom, Daryl did not spare her, he shot her point blank in the head, killing her on spot. He fled the scene after committing the gruesome crime but his major plans would change few hours later. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Houston, Texas. Houston is the fourth most populous city in the nation, with an estimated July 2018 population of 2,300,000. Having a crime rate of 5,723 per 100,000 residents, Houston experiences a crime rate that is 146.24% higher when compared to the national average, leading to one of the highest overall crime rates in the nation. It's important to clarify that this doesn't imply the entire city is unsafe. Lakeisha Raquel Lewis was born on February 25, 1993. She was a beautiful young lady who loved life. She attended Wheatley High School. She was serious in life and wanted more in life too. Lakeisha enjoyed life with her friends the best she could. She was a happy, outgoing and lively person. Lakeisha at a point in her life met a young man named Daryl Mitchell, age 28. Daryl presented himself like a very nice person but it will later unfold that he wasn't the person he claimed to be. Daryl was a local gang member who had plenty gang member friends in prison. They dated and at some point, Lakeisha got pregnant. They ended up having three kids together. They were together for a decent number of years before things started going downhill. After all the happy times, Lakeisha insisted she wanted to move on but Daryl made it hard on her especially trying to let every young man around town know they will get in trouble if they get close to Lakeisha. In 2012, Daryl was charged with assault after hitting her and Lakeisha was given an emergency protective order which eventually expired. Lakeisha finally met Jonal at some point and they became a couple. This news of Lakeisha starting a new relationship with a new man did not sit well with Daryl. So he took to Twitter to write I be saying to myself when I put the gloves on, it hurts when you gotta kill someone you love. Few days later, the 23-year-old mother of three shared a photo on IG with the caption, when you wanna break up but he told you he'll kill you. She and friends even laughed over it. Well, things turned deadly on June 7, 2016 when Lakeisha and Jonal had planned a night out and the children were staying with a babysitter for the evening. Unfortunately, the babysitter posted something about her having the kids on social media and Daryl saw it. Daryl knew Lakeisha was home with Jonal, then he decided to strike. Daryl drove to her apartment at the Gulf Coast Arms Apartments in the 6000 block of Hirsch in northeast Houston. Upon getting there, he knocked the door and Jonal opened up, Daryl shot Jonal point blank and he proceeded to find Lakeisha. He found her and shot her multiple times. Daryl drove away after the crime. Police were called to the scene by people who heard the gunshots. Upon arrival, they found both victims in the bathroom. They were able to transport Jonal to the hospital but unfortunately Lakeisha was declared dead on scene. Jonal was in a critical condition. They confirmed Lakeisha and Jonal were both shot in the head. Yeah, detectives say Daryl Mitchell took off from these Gulf Coast Arms apartments this morning and then confessed to a friend that he had murdered the mother of his three young children, 23-year-old Lakeisha Lewis. And earlier today, Lewis's family literally had to come pick up the pieces, collecting 
her and her kids things from a now empty apartment turned crime scene. It's where she was found shot to death early this morning in her bathroom with her boyfriend, 24 year old John L. Francis. Now, police say he was taken by ambulance in critical condition to a hospital. Now, detectives are looking for Mitchell, but Lakeisha Lewis's stepmom says their biggest concern now is the children left behind. It's a hard pill to swallow to wake up and know that your daughter's gone. And she left three beautiful kids that's asking for their mom. And we can't even give them an answer. We can't even tell them anything about their mom because how do you explain to a one, three, and a five year old that they'll never see their mom again? The former couple, Lakeisha and Mitchell, had a tumultuous relationship. In 2012, Mitchell was charged with assault and then ordered to stay away from Lewis. That protective order eventually expired. Back out here live, the family tells me they hope Mitchell turns himself in. He was last seen in a charcoal gray Dodge Avenger. If you have any information, please call HPD. Daryl called one of his trusted female best friends to confess to the crime. He also turned to social media to vent on a picture of Lakeisha and their three kids. This time he posted, playing both side, state facts, and when you break your neck to make sure another am good before yourself, it hurts. I burst my eye off to make sure everyone good. Only God can judge what happened. I never been a jealous dude but when you play the both sides games, it gets people hurt. Y'all so quick to comment on situation without knowing the facts. Daddy loves you. The cops declared Daryl wanted. He was said to be armed and dangerous. After a couple of hours, Daryl turned himself into police at the HPD Edward A. Thomas building at 1200 Travis and was arrested without incident. Right now, the man accused of killing the mother of his children and seriously wounding her new boyfriend is behind bars. In a few hours, we could learn more about what led to the shooting when he appears in court. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Ealing is live downtown with much more this morning. Good morning, Jeff. And good morning to you, Samika. Daryl Mitchell, as you mentioned, is accused of murder. He surrendered to Houston police late Tuesday this morning. He's scheduled to appear in front of a Harris County judge. Now, Eyewitness News was the only station in Houston there as Mitchell surrendered to police. Mitchell wearing a hoodie, walked into the HPD main office accompanied by family members. Mitchell would not talk to us as he walked into the police station. Authorities say around 2 o'clock Tuesday morning, Mitchell went to the apartment of his ex-girlfriend, Lakeisha Lewis, after seeing a social media post from a babysitter who was watching the couple's three children. Mitchell allegedly shot and killed Lewis in her apartment and allegedly seriously wounded her new boyfriend, John L. Francis. Now, the last we checked, Houston police told us Francis was still in extremely critical condition. He had been shot multiple times. We're told the couple's children were not at home at the time that this happened. HPD is still looking for the weapon that was used in this crime. If you have any information about that weapon, you're urged to call Houston police and there is... Daryl later appeared in court where the judge set his bond at $100,000. This got the family members of Lakeisha furious. Mitchell told authorities he knocked on the door of his ex-girlfriend's home around 3 a.m. Daryl told authorities that his mind went blank and he shot and killed them. He told them he loved her and now regrets his actions. Good morning, everyone. I'm Art Resco. And I'm Melanie Lawson. Daryl Mitchell made his first appearance in court today. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Ealing joins us now live with why he could be facing additional charges. Jeff? Melanie and Art, Daryl Mitchell surrendered to Houston police Tuesday evening. This morning he was in front of a Harris County judge, and now we are learning much more about what police say happened that night. During his first court appearance, prosecutors detailed what they say happened the night Daryl Mitchell allegedly shot and killed Lakeisha Lewis. Court documents state Mitchell called one of Lewis's friends after the incident. The defendant uh, was told that she was going to have to raise uh, Darnella, who was their child, because he had killed Lewis and her new boyfriend, John L. Lewis and Mitchell have three kids together. The couple dated for several years before police say the relationship ended earlier this year. Detectives say Tuesday night Lewis was at home with her new boyfriend, John L. Francis, when Mitchell came over. Uh, he knocked on the door. John L. answered. He says his mind went blank, and then he shot and killed them. 
Court records state both Lewis and Francis were shot in the head. Lakeisha Lewis died at the scene, but John L. Francis was taken to a hospital in critical condition. When Mitchell surrendered to police Tuesday evening, we were the only news station there. Mitchell said nothing as he walked into HPD. Police say Mitchell came to Lewis's apartment after seeing a post on social media from a person babysitting the couple's three children. Now, bond in this case was set at $100,000, but that could be increased, and the charges could be increased to capital murder if John L. Francis does not recover. Family members on social media were saying that Francis was in grave condition. Unfortunately, John L. later died few days later at the hospital. The charges against Daryl Mitchell were upgraded from murder to capital murder after John L. the boyfriend died in the hospital. If convicted of capital murder, Mitchell could face the death penalty for intentionally killing two people. Whether to seek death is a decision made by the district attorney, Devin Anderson, generally after months of consultation. Court records show Daryl pleaded guilty to assault a family member after he hit Lakeisha in 2012. He later was put on probation, which he successfully completed. As of now, he is being held without bond at the Harris County Jail. We do hope Lakeisha and Jonal gets the justice they deserve. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Lakeisha Lewis. May Lakeisha's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.